Are you ready? There goes our line. Gonna follow it all the way home now and see how it travels. We officially have bought a bus. Now for the fun part. We need to convert this bus to our very own home. Man, it's gonna be a hard yards. A lot of blood, a lot of sweat. And I definitely say there's gonna be some tears. Right, what I gotta do? My other mark you'll see up here, that's the top of the floor. My other mark is up here. I need to join them all together afterwards. So I'm just gonna cut this bracket out a little bit. It's got a couple of little welds. I'll try getting them cut out. Then I'll be able to line up all the holes. And with, with any luck, the whole water system just pushes in the place. Time to talk. This is the front of the hot water system. So we just need all of this to line up nicely with all my holes that I've drilled. To each corner I've got a hole. That's just so then I know where to cut. And now we know we can run a cut across here. Right round, right round, right down. And I'm gonna try the thunderstorm coming. Now, straight out, this here will just slot straight in there, like so. So I can't do the cut on the outside. Um, I just don't have enough room. So I'm gonna do this first cut, just that top cut, all the way across. I've got my four corners marked out. Um, and I'm hoping it sits in there nice and snug. It does have a plate later on to dress it up a little bit, which is a bonus, but um, my battery just went flat. She started stalling on the bloody grinder. So, I've got another battery coming. Here we go. And let's get this last bit cut. To the other bit at the top. Makes it a bit hard cutting in here. I do have a little bit of a gouge there, but tidy it up on the outside. Should be sweet. I don't want to cut the rest in here, so get out the side now.
got a quick one. We have, because we removed all the heater hoses, we've got to patch up the 25 mil holes in there. So I've just got a bit of block like this, just screwing it up into the floor. But you're gonna find, if you are doing a bus build, the stuff they put on the bottom of this floor, I can't even get a wood screw through it. I don't honestly know why. Um, a metal techie um, with some coarse thread, exactly like a wood screw, um, actually goes in with, like a dream. So. What I'm using is not one of these, my missus gave me the wrong one, is one of these um, that's just got a cut head on it. Uh, it is piercing through whatever the hell this waterproofing stuff is, so it's still got the same coarse thread as a normal screw, but what I've done now is, as you can see here, I've just screwed a bit of timber up here, countersunk it, just so then when I get up to the top, I can fill in those holes and man, I'm glad I'm working underneath a bus, not a car because I've got a little bit more room, but damn, that hurts my legs. All right, so we ended up getting 11 meters of this vinyl. Now, I think we're gonna be a little bit short, but see how we go. laid out all the vinyl now as you can see now we do have to glue it down still I think it's gonna be a tomorrow job we're just gonna let it sit overnight and just let it kind of do its thing I guess and then come in here tomorrow and um, glue it all down we're back on another beautiful morning I gotta say We've been a little bit slack a lot of the time. It seems like I don't bring this GoPro in. Oh, misses up there. Gives me a bit of grief about it because I seem to go on my merry little way. So, as you can see, yesterday we started laying the lino. We stuffed up quite a bit. We're no experts on laying lino. We've never done it before. So, it was a bit tough, I can honestly say. There was a lot of arguments, um, mainly on my behalf. My missus don't really argue all that much. Um, I'm very short tempered for all these out there um, that don't, don't know already. I seem to blow my stack over the little things. Um, and yeah, then we got to reset for the next day. But um, had a few dilemmas just with the cuts of the vinyl. You can see here that the cut did not work out the way I wanted it but we have kept that little bit to um, be able to glue in with a bit of 30 by 30 angle. We, we are up to the stages now. At the back, back of the bus, I have a rear mount motor bus. Um, I have two of the hatches that I have to cut out. So there's one under that level. I've put that level there because I actually fell through that yesterday. Um, I'm so grateful that I did not break the lino. Um, and then where that ruler is as well, we have another hatch. So today's job is to cut that vinyl out while we don't have the kids with us and glue this floor down. So gonna have to cut them two squares out. I'm thinking what we're going to do is start at this back end. We're going to rip the lino up. We're gonna try and get something a bit heavier on this lino just so it does not move because we are meant to leave around a 50 mil to 75 mil um, overhang on all the vinyl. Um, because the way we done it yesterday, I don't know how to lay vinyl. So um, once I done my first cut, I didn't know how to leave that center bit as such with a actual overhang on it. I suppose what I was meant to do is leave, make a join piece here and then put a bit of strip across it, but it um, didn't work out that way. So that did not happen, if that makes sense. But um, look, we've got a fair bit of work to do today. I'm hoping with 
not leaving that gap. It's pretty crucial at the moment for this section here to um, actually line up. These are going to end up, you can see one bubble here. We're going to find they're going to give us a bit of grief. Obviously, once we start pushing it through all the way with any luck that it disappears. It's all a learning curve. Um, yeah, we, we embarked on this um, bus build. We wanted to share a lot of it through YouTube and through our social media. So if you aren't following us on Gypsies Traveling Oz on Facebook or Instagram, duck over, have a look. All of our content on those two platforms are always current. It shows what we're up to in real life on the day. Um, it's not like YouTube. YouTube takes a lot longer to make, so we're quite a few months behind. Um, in the YouTube episodes, what you're seeing today, um, you know, it could have been six months ago that we've done it. But if you head over to Gypsy's Traveling Oz, Instagram and Facebook, you'll see what we're doing on that day. But um, I suppose better get into it, guys. We're gonna go straight back to fast mode and you're gonna see me lay this floor down in like, I don't know, probably five minutes or two minutes flat. Um, but really, it's probably took me maybe a day or maybe even a day and a half. I'll um, put it just here, how long it actually took. We'll start, start, we'll start um, timing it for years. But as I said, we don't know what we're doing. And this is the beauty with doing this bus build. We always knew it was gonna be challenging. I need to keep my cool a little bit. So all you guys out there, just remember, if your partner hasn't done anything like this before, try and keep you cool. We, we're not the best with working with each other, um, but at the end of the day, we need this bus build done. So we have no choice. We're going to keep, keep keeping on. And wish us luck. Yeah, wish us luck. Put it in the comments. Show us Have you luck. worked with your partner before? And did it end in tears? Or did it end up magical? I think this will end up magical Maybe a couple of tears. <laughs> no tears yet. <laughs> right, I better run through what we're actually using for today. So we've ducked down to, we're in Australia, we've got Bunnings Warehouse. For all you Australians, you already know that. If anyone overseas don't know what that is, that's just a big hardware store. Um, didn't quite know what to grab for this vinyl floor. So we ended up just coming to the table with this stuff called Fast Grip. Um, it just means that we're going to sit there and use like a a tiling trowel. Um, it is actually called, give me two seconds and I will tell you what it is called. It's called a spreader. Right here. The tin actually tells me so. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to start up that back end. We're going to pour out the glue. We're going to start from the center, start spreading it all out. And the beauty with the spreader, it's got a couple of little jagged edges on it. So it's going to just put lines through it. It looks sort of like a grout line, but with glue. So that just allows the bond between the lino and the floor. It's just going to give it that extra bond. But um, look, that's what we came up with. There's no rule book um, of what you're meant to use. We went into our local hardware store and the people there, I've got to honestly say, they're not the most helpful um, in these bigger stores um, as they're not tradesmen actually showing you what you actually need. But that's what we're using. You don't have to, but we will tell you if it works. We just had to do a quick practice run to see if we're gonna be able to walk the vinyl out. So it says that the vinyl needs to, the glue actually needs to set before we lay it out. So we've kind of got one shot. Yeah. So, so what, what happens, the heezy actually has to go off first. Yeah. So when the heezy actually goes off, you're yeah. gonna find it's just sticky. It's not sticking to your finger anymore. And then at that stage, you'll see it start to change color. It'll go like transparent, same as like your easy glues for like your roof linings and that. Um, this is gonna do exactly the same thing. So let's 
lay some of this down. We got one chance of this. <laughs> well, actually two chances. That was our first chance. Yeah. We nailed it. We nailed that one. Absolutely nailed it. Now. To the real deal. <laughs> fuck it, let's do it. <laughs> So we laid the glue on the first half. We watched all the videos, said lay all the glue, give it a bit, put it all down. It wasn't really working for us. Fuck, we were completely out. We were pretty out. Still are. Still are. And the glue kind of already dried, so not sure what we're doing. I think we're just gonna have to re-glue, I guess. Don't, don't. This buddy. glue here from Bunnings, fast grip. <clears throat> don't use it. No, you can't say it like that. Um, how long? It's I, shit. No, how long have we got? It says for the stuff that you need to follow what the manufacturer says. Because we got ours from a factory, factory seconds outlet, mm. so it was a brand new. Brand new line over like factory seconds. It's old, like old, old stock. stock it's got much. rubber on the back. Yeah. Um, I think we were meant to use um, like the double sided lino tape. Yeah. And then just well, peel it off. We ended up asking the fella at Bunnings saying, what's the difference? Will this stick to the vinyl? He said, look, it should stick. The worst thing is anything with Bunnings, man, they're not tradesmen. They don't actually know. No. So you're really just asking someone that doesn't really have any idea of their cells, which no. makes it a bit hard. Mm. But all of that just ended up being such a bitch. We're that was the biggest fuck around. We're trying to get it down. We did it back to front. We probably should have just done half and half. We've redone it just half. We're just gonna go to get see. Lino but it well, doesn't. Well, lino tape only has it in the corners. Yeah. It doesn't have it anywhere else. So. Mm. We've glued the corners down that end. We're going to get lino tape now and do up just here. this section up, do yep. lino tape on that and call it that because... This glue is not sticking it to the It says 20 minutes before it goes off. It's going off like as soon as it comes out of the can. Mm. Like you put it down, you go for it. It literally goes tacky virtually straight away. Yeah. Um, it is humid in this um. It's very hot so in here. Obviously it's... A lot quicker than what it's saying yeah it's meant to which is making it very very difficult so when we first laid it down we fucked up yeah i honestly got to say that we should have with no now we should have lifted this end and then pushed it all the way over there yeah but we started from the back and dragged it all the way back and then tried to push rookie it. Rookie mistake. Rookie mistake. <laughs> like, complete don't fucking, do that don't have do it that way have it from this side because obviously it's a lot less to have to work with That's and it right. just kind of pushed a yeah, lot easier. But I can honestly say I have one little bubble, so it's not even noticeable anyway, you can't feel yeah. you can barely see it until you're on top of it. Yeah. I'm happy with it. I'm pretty sure the, day, the bathroom, the toilet might even be there anyway, so you're really not gonna see it. It'll be under the fridge. Yeah. Be under the fridge so no one will see it. Yeah. 
all that stuff around. We tore another corner of the lino, yeah. another corner up there, another, 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 bit up another here. here, and another here. And look, the lino is um, vinyl. Vinyl is very thin. Yeah, um, rips very easy. I would probably suggest using not sheets of vinyl. Yeah, I'd be um, probably doing planks mm. if I was to have your time again, which yeah. I will. Mm. Um, I think I'll do planks. Yeah. At least that way you're not trying to move this one big friggin' thing. Yeah. And one big advantage is too that if you're doing plank tiles, you can do the floor after you fit out. It doesn't yeah. need, it doesn't need to be done before the fit out. Yeah. Obviously you could do you could do this before the fit out, after the fit out with a sheet. Yeah, you know, I know years ago that's how everyone done houses, but I think you just So you, many yeah. cuts. You so very, many more opportunities to fuck up. You're very limited um, with getting the sheets in. Mm. But we, we started off with a three metre sheet. Mm. Um, you know, maybe we should have done it as a two two metre sheets. Um, that way we could do one side and join the other one up and then throw it the other way. Um, which probably would have worked out better for this alley. We could yeah. have done one cut, another cut, slapped it down, it would have been done. But and then we would have had some weird sides. sticky joint somewhere though. Nah, see, see these here, love. Mm. See your big one that runs all the way through? Mm. That's your joint. Mm. So when, when you go to do a cut, you cut in that joint, and the next one that cuts up to it, all this wood grain looks the same on the opposite side. So that's how they get the joint. Oh, that's a and bit then, clever. But you gotta use a straight edge, smack it up the center, and then you join and you don't notice it. But but we're gonna go get some tape now. Tape the rest of it yeah. because this glue It's rubbish. It's not good for what we needed. It'll make it a little bit easier with these um other bits that we've like stuffed up. What about this bit? <laughs> yeah. They're gonna be able to join a little bit better, so you you can probably see this bit just here. <laughs> so with the double sided tape when I run it across that whole length, I'm gonna be able to just stick this one down nicely on the double sided tape. Hopefully. First thing is that crack actually looks like wood grain until it fills up with dirt. Well, that's going to be under the, the seats anyways. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, tape, tape, I definitely. Think tape. So, mm. if you do buy secondhand stuff and it doesn't have a manufacturer name on it, if it's got this um rubber mat mm. on the bottom, don't use tape. glue. Don't use glue. It's not made for it. No. We know that now. Yeah. Let's go get this tape. We're gonna get some tape. <sighs> Have I ever told you guys I love a beer? Is it beer o'clock? Might no. be beer o'clock a bit early today. Freaking feels like it. All right, let's go it. get the kids. Go get the tape. Come back. Have a beer. Tape up, and hope that works. And I'd like to apologise to my partner. <laughs> Fuck, I've done some yelling. Just a little bit. Mm. A lot of yelling. Do you, do you guys ever have this thing where, now you work on site with blokes, or blokes and females, whatever, but when they're, you, you get used to just doing your own things in your own little way, like you don't even talk, like shit just goes together. So like as one one grabs one side, the other one just grabs, and it, I don't know, it just, it just works, man. Um, I've worked in an office my entire life. Yeah, and I often, I don't forget it. It's just a lot of he things. He just thinks I know what he's thinking. Yeah. I was like, you need to use your freaking words, yeah, mate. I don't right. know what you're thinking. But what do you do? Let's rock and roll. Get some tape. Get some tape. Have a beer. Have a beer. <laughs> See you, bye.